Hello, this is AJ and this is the best vibe. If you are new here, please consider to subscribe. In this segment, we're gonna talk about different mythology, different god and goddesses in different religion. Today's concept about Aman Ra. Aman Ra is the ultimate god of entire ancient Egypt. Many of the Egyptians consider him as the god of kings and kings of God. He is the oldest and the most worshipped ruler of ancient Egypt. Aman Ra simply means hide and light. Aman means hide and under Ra the light. So he is the hidden one. He is resembled to another gods in different religion. For example, Ahura Mazda in Persian religion, the hidden one. Recent research finding shows us that Aman or Amen or Aman is modern god within the ambits of Egyptian mythology. Historian also believe that the famous Sun Temple of the capital of Thebes was recorded only during the period of 11th dynasty and onwards. The god Amun was successful in replacing the god of war Mantu as the main god of Thebes during the early period of the new kingdom. During this time, he started getting his reconciliation as the king of God in Egyptian mythology. Amun is the ram with extremely curved horns. Ram signifies fertility as symbolized by ram's great proactive and fertile energy. Legend says that pharaohs always linked to call themselves as beloved of Amun meaning that they were the real representative of the god of fertility. As the pharaoh was the son of Ra, it was naturally to call the god Amun as the father of monarch. Amun was the god of the Thebes capital and as a result, he was so successful in attaining the statue of the supreme god of the whole kingdom. The almighty god Amun personified the god's son and the sun is the symbol of birth and energy. With Egyptians' prominence in worldwide political and social scenario, he also gained popularity as a universal god. By the end of 25th dynasty, Amun Ra was considered as the chief god of Nubian's kingdom of Napata. During the early Greek civilization, Greek considered him the Egyptian synonyms of Zeus. However, another inscription of the pyramid text from the Old Kingdom of the 5th dynasty show him the main deity and rare symbol of universal force. The great sun god had his own charisma and magnetism. Nubians of ancient Egypt believed that Amun took his birth in the place called Gabal Bakal in the northern part of present Sudan, known to be the god of creation, Amun Ra much teach the modern world recovered in the thieves around the region Amun Ra allowed those who worshipped him the ability to create all that they needed and all that they wanted however through a magic spell of through devotion Amun Ra welcome all at his altar for many who follow and study Amun Ra they believe that he created himself without the need for a mother or father in this sense he the breath of life the internet force that allow us to devote into ourselves in order to create the love we desire. In looking at Amun Ra, you can see the creation is not something which comes from outside or ourself, but it is a force which comes from the depth of your being. Amun Ra was also known as the father god, god that reigned over the sun over the fertility of the region by shining his light down into the land. He was able to boost the growth of crops to show that flooding did not happen along the Nile but as with the gods. When people did not worship him, he was just as willing to turn away to remove the light in order to show what the people were missing. With the power of Amun Ra, a magic spell can create it to grow more fertile love life. However, another lesson to be taken from Amun Ra is that no matter how often he disappears or hidden from sight, 
He continued to return to remerge when one has faith. The sun returns again the next day and so does the hope that you will have all that you desire. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for future notification. If you like this segment, give us a like. Take care. Till then. Bye-bye.